As we begin this Advent season, let us turn our attention to Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 26 to 35. In this sacred passage, we meet the angel Gabriel, who comes to see the young Virgin Mary with a message that would change the path of human history. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Luke 1 verse 26 to 27. Imagine the scene, a humble town, an ordinary young woman. Yet, God chose this moment and this vessel to bring forth extraordinary news. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. Luke 1 verse 28. Such a beautiful greeting must have struck Mary with wonder and anxiety. But the angel reassures her by revealing the enormity of the plan in progress. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Luke 1 verse 30 to 31. In these words, we witness the announcement of the most miraculous birth in history. A child, not conceived through earthly means but by the Holy Spirit, will be born unto us. His name, Jesus, meaning God saves, embodies the essence of his divine purpose. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Luke 1 verse 32 to 33. This child, born in humility, is destined for greatness. His reign will be eternal, a kingdom of everlasting peace and righteousness. And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Luke 1 verse 35. In this revelation, we grasp the profound mystery of the Incarnation. The Holy Spirit, the very essence of God, will dwell within Mary, making her the chosen vessel for the embodiment of divine love. As we meditate upon these verses throughout this Advent week, let us offer prayers of gratitude for the profound gift of Emmanuel, God with us. May our hearts be filled with wonder and reverence as we anticipate the arrival of the wonderful Counselor, the Prince of Peace, the Son of God, Jesus, the Savior of the world.